I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, Chili's baby back ribs. I want my baby back, Chili's baby back ribs. Barbecue soul. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, Chili's baby back ribs. I want my baby, Chili's baby back ribs. I want my baby back ribs. And cut. Thanks, boys. Anyway, I'm going to be playing some Dark Souls today. I'm trying out a new character. This is Kuzco the Cock. He is a distant relative. Actually, no, he's not a distant relative. He's he's an alternate universe counterpart to Costco the Buck. But he lives in a strange world. A distorted Lordran where all the enemies are in different places. And he has a very tiny head. Let's try it. So I just got this working. I confirmed that it was working with one of my old saves. This isn't a speedrun or anything. I'm, I'll probably do multiple streams of this for all I fucking know. But it was surprisingly easy to get mods for Dark Souls set up. I had to install three different mods to get this to work. Oh, you know what? It, you guys are probably getting bad frames. But then there was fire. I'm gonna, yeah. And was fire. I'm gonna he turn off the recording. Heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light. So, you, can you guys hear me all right? Is the game audio too loud? I remember that the intros to Dark Souls games are always a little loud. Then from the dark they came. Everything's fine. Okay, well just let me know. within the flame. Okay, you know what? We've seen all this. I've seen all this a million times. I don't know about you guys. Do I see a little bit of jank here? Whoa, 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 whoa. I think since this is an in-game cutscene, this enemy is kind of glitching out. What the fuck is it supposed to be? <laughs> it's like some sort of lava enemy. So I... There, apparently there are tons of, like, customizable settings for this. It's like its own app. And so I made the settings uh, so that it swaps enemies with enemies and bosses with other bosses. And it also, apparently, the settings said difficulty curve, and I like the sound of that, so I did that too. And NPCs will not be affected. Because apparently you can have it fucking put in NPCs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Baby back. Chilies, baby, but oh god, look at that face! I deliberately made Cusco look like a fucking scumbag. I put all of his sliders on all of his like facial things as far to the right as I could, so he's a, he's a right hand man. Chilies, baby, back wheels. Chilies, baby, back wheels. And items will be the same, too. Okay. I hear a big thing. I'm actually now reminded that Stray Demon is there. There's a rat. But it's not hostile. I really don't do much damage to it. I probably shouldn't have done that, huh? Is this rat gonna kill me? It's gonna, like, poison me. I probably shouldn't have aggroed it before I had a good weapon, huh? So first boss of the game, rat. You know what? I'm gonna stop hitting shield, and I'm just gonna go past it. I'm gonna see what the hell this is. Oh god, I think that's the centipede demon. <laughs> There's a deep boost! <laughs> Too much is happening. Too much is happening. Okay. I just want to avoid the rat. There was a T-posing thief there. I just want that on the record. There's another rat. Already, this is delightful.
I hear... Is that still the centipede demon, or do I hear another massive fucking thing? Can we peek through this hole to see what the, the big thing's gonna be? Don't suppose rats can climb ladders, huh? Uh... I don't think I can see it through there. Usually you can see the asylum demon, like, perched there, ready to jump down. Someone said, what are the chances Gwyn is the first boss? No. I don't want to think about that. I don't even have Estus. I hate the, like, loud sounds. Okay, so what is it? What's it gonna be? Nothing? Is it nothing? Um... Oh, I see it! Is that the gargoyle tail? Asylum demon. I see a gargoyle up there, um... Is this... <laughs> what? Okay! Hmm. Okay, yes. The gargoyle can't get down here. Also, I guess it doesn't change the words on the on the health bar. Okay, so I guess I'm... This is fine. I have to go up there eventually anyway, so I'll just fight it while I'm up there. I... <sighs> I have a feeling this first part will be perhaps the hardest part of the game because it's the fucking asylum. Some of the options in like the, the customizable menu said like easy asylum because I guess this is a sticking point for a lot of people. Okay, so what is that? Is that a slug? I think the arrow guy has been replaced by a large slurm. Yes, there's a slurm here. So I'm gonna put on the shield And this thing will probably take 10 billion hits to kill, so that's fun. Yeah, look at that nice 2 damage. I just need to get around it, it's in the way. Come over here. Move at me. Uh, you swarmy piece of shit, I can't get past it. Okay, it's moving, it's walking, alright, get me out of here. So let me know if the audio is ever weird, or the frames are ever dropping, but they, they shouldn't be. And to the full VOD viewers, sorry about the, like, full minute or two of silence at the very beginning of this VOD. I probably will not be able to be bothered enough to edit that out, but people will have it covered in the comments. As usual. Oh! Oh! There's the gargoyle! <laughs> he finally got down, but now it's too late. I wonder if I could just kill him through the door then. I could probably do that. Is the ball gonna be something different? Ball's just an environmental, okay. Obstacle. I'm gonna be nice to Oscar, because I actually have a deep-seated heterosexual lust for Oscar. Okay, not enough to listen to all this dialogue I've heard like a billion times, though. Yada yada. Just give me your souls. You can hear him die there. I don't know how many times I'm ever going to say that, but, you know. Oh, I forgot to equip my sword. Long sword. Brilliant. Now I can actually fight. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's one of those rings of light. It's like somebody cast a miracle here, right? Isn't that what that means? So I'm going to try to kill this gargoyle while it's just, like, right here. Shouldn't be too hard, right? I can't target it. I don't know if I did damage. Come closer. I did damage! Oh shit! I can do it. I can do it. The first boss fight was with a fucking door. Yeah. Okay. This- I might- It might take a few tries. It's kind of hard when you can't see what the hell the boss is doing. Okay, okay. I should just be shielding this, right? Maybe I can't shield it. No, I can. Fuck. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, mate. I don't know how much damage I've actually done to it. Its health bar only appears for like a second. Okay. 
It's actually considerably harder when you can't see what the hell the boss is doing. Just did a tail swipe, now it's flying. Pretty cool. Pretty cool that you know that Beatles song. You know, not a lot of people to listen to every song on Magical Mystery Tour, but you're one of the you're one of the real fans, Gargoyle. We get it. What if I tried opening the door? I bet he still couldn't get through it. Hold on, I'm gonna try that. Cause I got iframes. Oh, locked! Right. Contraption. Uh, pray tell, what contraption is that? This is a lost fucking cause. So I'm just gonna... Resty. Yeah, I'm gonna go around the normal way and see if I can plunge this man now. I like that it, it, it doesn't randomize them every time you rest at a bonfire. It just makes it so all the enemy placements are changed. So these... This, like, horde of guys here, which is normally, like, tutorial dudes, might actually fuck me up. What if it's, like, a tower knight? Oh, there's the golden crystal golem! <laughs> That's pretty fun, but the rest of these are just chumps. Oh, thank god. Just one simple meme to get me through the day. Oh, and he's walking. Oh, we are getting some extreme walking action. I kind of predict that this stream will be the source of a lot of walk-in, because we're going to be seeing a bunch of enemies in environments they're not supposed to be in. So how long is that going to take? Yeah, a while. A fucking while is the answer. This is something that you would normally find in the fucking crystal caves. After you've done like a billion things. Oh, did you see those bodies? Yo, and the gargoyle is clipping through the wall here. Cool. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Did he just clip out the side of the wall? I just saw like a flurry of, of thing. Where is Gargoyle? I don't suppose I can like get past this lad, can I? No. No, he's gonna block- Oh! Ah! Get your gold crystals out of here. That's not how gold or crystals work. Oh, I see the- Oh, there's the Gargoyle freaking out again. This is a really- I'm already in such a shit spot. I'm not even close. I, you can't even see the amount of damage that I've done to this guy. I, I need to- you know what I need to do? I need to quit out and reload the enemies. Um... Here we are. Cusco the cock. Oh fuck, I need to run. No! <laughs> I, I realized too late. Seriously though, golden crystal golem, and he's translucent. So is he gold or is he a fucking crystal? Make up your fucking mind. I can't wait till, like, the world opens up and I'm not in, like, tutorial land where it's, like, required to get past enemies. Or to fight them, rather. Because a lot of things I'll just be able to, like, run past or skip with sick speedrunning strats. Oh, these fucks are in my way. Okay, I need to do the technique. I think the quitting out and loading back in is a good idea. So I'm going to try that again. Doesn't take too much time. Oh god, Undead Berg. Yeah, Undead Berg is going to suck a, a few dicks. Oh, that was not faster. <laughs> so, by the way, guys, later tonight, there's going to be... Oh, I fucking hate this. There's going to be a uh, Smash stream with Lark. And we're gonna try out Hero. I downloaded the- I set up all my fucking streaming equipment again. Which I had taken it all down and I was planning on just moving out. And like not having to deal with capture card shit. But I set it back up. We're gonna do a Hero stream. And it should be good. So, it, answer me this. I'm planning on starting it off with I Need a Hero, like the song. From Shrek 2, well not from Shrek 2, but in Shrek 2, most notably. Uh, 
Is that... Oh god, oh god. Is that a joke that people have done like a billion times already, or... what? Like, I, I just want to know, because I want to do that joke. But I'm worried that I am a tasteless hack. Uh, okay, and that's a balder knight. That's cool. I just need to parry him a hundred times. It's cool. Oh, that's not bad at all. Never mind. I forgot balder knights are a really early enemy. He's dead. Oh, he's not dead. There he goes. Okay, well I got past the crystal golem. Oh, right. This is not the way to go. I did not get past the crystal golem. The crystal golem will still... Oh, he's on the steps. Chump, 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 chump. Yes. Yes. Get... Yeah! Oh, that didn't do a lot. Oh, he's stuck in the wall? No. No. I'm just so fucked. Oh, what? Those pillars can get destroyed? Can't open that door. This is cool. At least it's only one, right? What is this attack? What are you doing? It's just I don't have any stats of any kind. There's some walking. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna whoop some ass. Hey, he does not take a lot of damage. I'm so used to these guys dying in, like, three hits. It's one gargoyle, though, right? Like... And maybe I can get the tail cut and get his tail weapon and do that instead. Although that probably... Oh, that probably needs, like... You probably need to be, like, leveled at all for that to work. Okay, let's get the tail cut. Oh, okay, or not. You need to do a lot of damage to the tail to cut it. Hasn't been common yet? Okay. I'm just worried about that sort of thing. Okay, so this sucks dick already. It's so... Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm just gonna run past this jumpy lad. Bye-bye. I'm kind of wondering if I can re-randomize the enemies by any chance. I'm gonna try doing that. I'm gonna try doing that. I have no... I have no qualms about scumming this. So I'm gonna load out, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna close the game, and I'm gonna re-randomize the enemies. And then I'm gonna load back in. Like the just piece of shit that I am. Yeah, I'm not gonna be grinding, sorry guys. Especially grinding in the fucking tutorial level that has like no... any souls. Okay, okay. I'm gonna close the game. I'm gonna go into my window here. I'm gonna hit randomize. It doesn't take super long. Completed successfully, fuck yeah, okay, okay. Hopefully this doesn't like fuck up the game. I, I think it should be fine, because when I checked an old save file on, like, earlier, when I activated the mod, it didn't, like, fuck up that save file. Someone said, how does Ceaseless work? Uh, that, my question is, how do, how do things like Bed of Chaos work? That, that's the one that I'm kind of looking forward to seeing. But yeah, like, the massive bosses, I wonder if those get swapped out. I think we'll know if it's Ceaseless Discharge. We'll know pretty fast. Oh, it's the fucking tree snakes? That's hilarious. Really weird enemy from Darkroot Garden. Also a painting guardian, who might actually give me some fucking trouble. Shush. 
Look at that. Look how little damage I do just because it's a fucking Anne Orlando enemy. Okay. I tried to parry. I don't know why I clanged when I parried. I could fiddle around with the settings more, too. Yeah, I wonder if things like the Hydra are in rotation, because those are in, like, Titanite demons. Okay, what are you? What is this guy? Oh, hey, wow. I think this is actually what this enemy is supposed to be. Oh, no, this is a Painted World enemy, and you can tell because it has a fuck ton of health. Compared to the guy that's supposed to be here. Yep. Are you gonna do the DLC? I don't even know if I'm gonna beat the full game. I oh! Snakes! I'm just gonna mess around. I don't think I've ever seen these snakes just walking around before. Don't they always die on the tree? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, the gargoyle. Wait, is it still a gargoyle? That would kind of suck. You know what else would suck is if I was poisoned. I'm just gonna go through. I think it's still the gargoyle. <laughs> yep, it's still gargoyle. Cool. It, just by chance, I think. The randomization chose another gargoyle. Okay, well, fucking... Guess we're doing that. Oh, that's the tail slap. Oh! <laughs> That'll fucking do it. Unbelievable. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, guys. I know I just died, like, twice. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna change it up again. I'm gonna exit out... I'm gonna go true random, okay? The only way to get through life is through pure chaos. Everything's gonna be fully random. Enemy placement, it's funny, you can check only where they fit anywhere. Of course I'm gonna hit anywhere. Um, replace NPCs only with bosses. That would be fun, right? Not really. Normal enemies can be replaced with either bosses or normal enemies, and bosses can be replaced with bosses or normal enemies. Okay. Okay. Boss chance, I'm gonna put it down to 5%. Every, so everything's got a 100% chance to get replaced. Normal enemies have a 5% chance to be a boss. And a boss has a 90%. Oh wait. No, I want a boss to also... I want a boss to have a 50% chance of being a boss or an enemy. Okay. Seems like it worked. Let's go. Oh, I just... I don't know if you guys could hear that over the microphone, but I just got the fucking best neck crack of my life. Oh, yeah. That felt real fucking good. It was like... <laughs> One sad thing is I, I downloaded DS Fix, and a lot of people said DS Fix allowed you to skip past this. I am pressing all the buttons. You can't. You still can't. Reroll until you get all the bosses where they're supposed to be. No, I don't. I don't want to. Oh, I hear a. I hear growling. What sound is that? Is that a... Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what sound that is, but let's find out. It's not a Titanite demon, is it? They don't make, like, a spurt sound. Okay. So who's up here? Every enemy could be a boss. This is a thief. Oh, fuck. Oh, he backstabbed me! That's gonna be an instant kill. Right? No, oh, no, never mind. Scaling, I guess. Okay, come on. 
Oh, he abandoned ship. Cool. I'm glad you did that. Good choice. What's here? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Are you... Oh, that's a massive rat! Look at him walking! Quality walking. Okay, so this is a little bug from Blight Town. This thing's gonna take a million years to kill, too. I love the rat tail wiggling off in the distance. I'm trying to think what boss makes that sound, or like what enemy makes that sound, but I really can't remember. Am I gonna be able to like interrupt him? He seems pretty absorbed in what he's doing. Oh, fuck. Wait, for real? Walken has a hitbox? He like slows down and speeds up and shit. Oh god. I don't know how to- Oh, what? Something else is hitting me. Something else is there. It's the boss. Oh, it's a- it's a drake. I'm trying to traverse the white light, but this fucking rat is in my way. Yeah, I wonder if Blight Town, if it, like, replaces all the, like, the little, uh, whatchamacallits, the, the, like, mosquitoes. That would suck, cock. You know what else sucks, cock? Is, is this? What is killing me? What is hurting me there? Okay, I just need to... Come on, yeah, I managed to get through. What's down here? Oh, it's a humanity ghost. <laughs> so spooky. Oh, it's actually, since it's a late game enemy though, it's actually gonna pose a threat. I only have a little bit of health. And this guy does help, does damage just by like walking through me. Another situation where walking has a hitbox. What about, uh, Vagrants? I wonder if we're gonna see a Vagrant today. Like, I wonder if they're in rotation. Okay, this is a pretty- oh, see, there's the damage. If I do that one more time, I die. Thankfully, he does get knocked back. Come on, how is this actually a tense fight with suspense? Okay, I hear the- I hear a drake. Or, not a drake, the, uh, you know, the things in the drakes pass. I guess those are drakes, huh? Is that gonna be the enemy that's after this? I'm just so fucking scared. Maybe it's downstairs. Yeah, it must be downstairs. Holy shit, I got out of the asylum. Holy shit, finally. It only took re-randomizing everything like six times. Okay. In Lord Rand, level up and kill up bonfires. No shit, I can level up here? It's crazy. Oh, I see the crystal golem up there. Is that the golden one again? I think it is. So, this little run-up should actually be just fraught with horrors. Let's figure it out. Yep, it's a golden one. Why do I keep finding this fucking golden dude? I need to knock him off the cliff. Oh, and a- yeah, 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 and a dark wraith. And a skeleton. And a rat that just flung itself. Okay. This is cool. Everything's fine. I think the other one was a grub. Yeah, it's a grub. What's that rat? Oh, it's another crystal golem! Okay! Is the- I wonder if the dragon in this weird little encounter is gonna be replaced by anything. What is this? Snakes! Snakes! What is in the stairs? What is that? There's something in the stairs. I see like a wooden- a, a, a pole, a poke. Don't you dare poison me. You fucking cretin. What is in the stairs? Oh, it's... Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, it's one of the DLC guys. It's one of the gardener fellows. Okay. Oh, it's one of these fucks from Blight Town. I wonder if he'll permanently despawn. In fact, we're getting the we're getting a bunch of flavors of Blight Town right now. Okay, everything's going fine so far. We haven't found any random enemy bosses, but I feel like we're going to find one soon. Here's the dragon encounter. I'm wondering if this is going to be changed anyway. Oh, it's just gone? It just doesn't happen. Okay. That's pretty lame, actually. I was really hoping that we would see some jank shit there. Like fucking Gwyn T-posing, just like zooms by. Oh, I'm toxic! And- oh! That backstab was so janky! Did you see that? Oh. Very cool. Very cool. Every town is Blight Town. Yeah, that's true. I, yeah, I wonder if I get, like, invaded, what happens then? Okay. Well, let's see if these toxic fucks respawn. I'm just not even gonna bother with fighting most of these dudes. It's one of the tiny red rats. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, no! Ah! <laughs> I didn't mean to jump there. I meant to roll. Fuck. Well, there go all my souls. I should have leveled up. Huh. It's pretty cool. I, I love that I always realize those things when it's just, like, way too late. It's fine. I can just kill this single crystal golem and get the same amount of souls. Do your jump attack off the cliff. Oh god. Eh, oh. Oh. I'm gonna try to lure one of these guys off the cliff so I can get souls. That's my new that's my new thing that I'm doing. Oh god, actually I really want to check out the cemetery. What the fuck is the cemetery gonna be like? Like are the bone men scripted enemies? Cause they like they start out as just like collapsed bones. Oh nope. Nope. What the fuck is that? That's like a heap of mass of souls or whatever, right? Oh, I see a bunch of twitching things. Oh, actually, that is uh, Gravelord Nito, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we can get him off the cliff. His spear is floating in the air. Does that rat have, like, something in its mouth? Okay, well, Grave Gra Gravelord Nito... Oh no, this is definitely this is no, this is a heap of heap of fuck. Never mind. Never mind. I thought it was Nito for a second. I was like, what? Oh look at that guy! It's not like a T-pose! Its legs were totally straight for a second, and it was terrifying. And beautiful. And brilliant. What if I just run down to the catacombs? Oh, but then I'm gonna need to run back. Oh, they're all in T-poses! This is amazing. I fucking love this. It's because the skeletons start out in like a weird state. So all the enemies start out in a fucking T-pose. I'm gonna get the Binox. And just run off the cliff. Yep. Woohoohoohoohoo! Boulder! Ooh yeah, the hanging zombies in Undead Burg. I wonder if they'll just die. I bet they'll be in the place where the zomb where the zombies would be and they're gonna be T-posing, and then they're just gonna sort of like pop onto the map. That's my prediction. I think that Dark Wraith sees me no matter what. You won't see me. You won't see me. There's one gun. Is that gonna give me a lot of souls? 1200, that's not too bad. Uh. Skelebone. Yeah, Skelebones are a pain in the ass early in the game. And this one respawns because it's got a glow in its eye. It's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, what if I went into a game where I've already like made progress and I can warp to places? I think I'm going to go into my speedrun account. The one that I used for the speedrun. Swamp Gus will make his return. Fuck Cusco. I spent so long making all the sliders go over to the right. 
But now we're gonna go with this, and already, that's a Capra Demon, a Balder Knight, and one of the big rats from the Dark Root Garden. That's pretty cool. I guess these guys are scripted, because he's normally here. Oh, there's a crystal dude, T-posing. This crystal guy is kind of a pain in the ass. What the fuck? Oh! It's... Uh, is that Manus? I think this is Manus! What are you doing here, buddy? I think this is where the Drake is supposed to be. So, guys, you know what this means. Free Manus kill! Yes! This is where the Drake is supposed to spawn when it starts, like, flying over the map. But... It's the final boss of the DLC. <laughs> oh, just give him a few smacks. He'll be fine. Hit him in his greasy hand. His AI just won't activate for whatever reason, because he's not on, like, solid ground, I guess. God, Manus, you got some little chicken legs. I never realized this. So is this going to give me Manus levels of souls? This is taking fucking forever. Because I'm still pretty underleveled, because this is my speedrun build. All I have is this overpowered weapon. <sighs> pretty good. He's, he's not quite in a T-pose, but he's in something resembling a T-pose. Oh, it's another one of the weeping guys. Oh, you're totally right, chat. The the 5% boss chance came in at the most clutch time possible. That's that's totally what it is. It's not the Drake. I'm not even sure what happens with the Drake. Whoop his ass. There you go. All right, man, it's actually one of the easier early bosses in Dark Souls. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of souls. I'm gonna level up with that. Thank you, sir. My question now is, will Manus respawn? I bet he fucking will. I bet he fucking will. Oh my god, he respawns. So anytime I want to come here and just get out my aggressions toward Manus, I can just do so. Oh, shit. Level up. So, yeah, there's also, I can dupe souls. A lot of people, when I was streaming the Dark Souls speedrun, and in the comments of the full VOD, there are a lot of people who are very interested in telling me that they know a better way of duping souls. Nobody terribly interested in telling me how to do that. So I sort of just stuck with the way that I was <laughs> using, because people were like, oh, there's a way easier way to do it, and I was like, please tell me what that is. And then just like radio silence from those people. So my deep apologies to anybody who came into that video expecting an actual speedrunner, but I do have some news to impart upon those people, and that's that I'm actually, and you, you, you might just lose your shit, I'm not a real speedrunner. Yeah. Yeah. I know, it's hard to believe. Also, the Black Knight is just gone. Roll, press X, and start and use an Estus. Oh, I still have these souls. Cool. Let me try that. Roll, press start, and use an Estus. See, that was probably so easy for the per person who typed that. Rather than the million people who were like, Oh, I know a better way, Ronald. Uh, so... Roll X start... Wait. But X is using Estus. I'm confused. Never mind. It's not that simple. Like, roll, then while you're in the roll, buffer an Estus drink, and then press start and select in the menu to use an Estus. Do you still need the item on top? Use Estus instead of the soul. Okay. Weird. The version, that I, the version of the dupe trick that I was using was apparently only 
Uh, it was the only way to do it in Dark Souls Remastered. Because the other way got patched out, evidently. I forgot about this other guy. Fuck, I rolled too early. Use the item in your hotbar? Put... Put the item in your hotbar. Oh, okay. Is this like a risky thing, then? Can you do it with nameless souls, or does it have to be a boss soul still? And then I go in here and put Estus on top. I mean if you mess it up. Yes, that is what the term risk means. To be fair. Okay, it does have to be a boss soul. Okay. Let's see, I'm just going over this in my head. Roll, press X. So, BX start AA. BX start AA. No. Oh, brilliant. This guy aggroed. Alright, yeah, and this is exactly why <laughs> taking advice from people during streams quite difficult. Er, oh, right, I need the soul here. Okay, okay. Just saying, the first two chat comments of pure sass weren't, strictly speaking, necessary there. So, uh... Oh, is there another guy? No. So, I need to... Roll S to start AA. Okay, okay, okay. Roll X start AA. Nope. Hold on. Roll X start AA. Uh... Hmm. No. No, not working out. Do I need to do three A's? Hold on, hold on. Roll X start AA. No. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay, it's whatever. Oh, I didn't... Didn't even know you could backstab with a two-handing. I literally didn't know that. Fun fact. Oh, it's one of these toxic dart fucks. Oh, that little... Oh, God. The little, like, ramp. The little area that's, like, down the hole here is gonna be such a pain in the ass. Stop! Oh, my God. I'm, I'm beyond pissed at this man. Oh, and now- Oh, there's a real pig?! Why is there a pig now?! There's- I thought the pig got replaced! I can't rest. I need to one-hand the halberd, is what I'm getting, from a big paragraph of text. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, no, I think this person is describing the way that I used in my actual speedrun. Can't really, uh, I appreciate the googling it and just posting a paragraph, but at the same time that's not really the sort of thing that I can just read and extrapolate on, on stream. Okay, so, I'm just going to try to sprint through here, and then I'm going to, this area is going to be hell. It's going to be absolute hell. I see, one of the crossbow archers got replaced. So this area is going to suck dick. I don't even want to see, oh god, it's a giant rat again. Okay, okay, am I going to be able to get up this ladder? 
Yes, yes. That giant rat really fucks. There's a lesser demon, some normal rat. This is pretty manageable. The way you did it, but with the soul item in the quick bar. Okay, so the way that I did it then. Let's. Oh god. Okay, what's the Balder Knight gonna be replaced with? Are they gonna be T posing? Because they're like in a special. Oh, what the fuck are you? Oh, it's one of the gardeners. I hear so many clinks. Okay. Oh wow, these guys go down like bitches. Really weird. It seems like a lot of enemies have disproportionate health to what they have in the normal game. Okay, what is... Okay, oh, it's one of these absolute cretins. I hate those guys. And it's a big ol' leech. That's cool. It's real cool. Ha cha cha. Okay, pretty easy. Something just died. Uh, if we could have, like, not spam in the chat, that would be great. Hopefully, this rat doesn't fuck it over for me. <sighs> Maybe I could do send skip. Okay, okay. Andre is the same. What is- Oh, it's just a single guy! Wow, you got some big shoes to fill here, buddy. I'm a Titanite demon! I'm gonna hit you with my sword! Ah! That's what he sounded like. Oh, I got the demon Titanite for that. That's hilarious. Okay, what are these bushmen gonna be? I need to go get another Black Knight Halberd. Okay. That's not bad at all. Good random enemies. I, I really hope lesser demons, or like, uh, you know, the lesser Capra demons aren't like in the rotation. Is that... That's another pig. Okay, cool. <laughs> What if I just made it, like, maximum chaos mode? Where it's like everything's a 50-50 chance to be an enemy or a boss. Or what if I made everything bosses? Even. I might have to do that. At a certain point. And then go, like, I don't know, kill one of the grub men. Although it wouldn't dispense grubs, right? Maybe it would. Oh! <laughs> that was a Titanite lizard! It's just a bunch of, like, zombies cosplaying as cool Dark Souls enemies that they like. Feather. There's iron arrows, but there's no steel arrows. If there were steel arrows, then you could say, the ton of steel arrows, the same as a ton of feather arrows. And the answer is, of course, the feather arrows, because they're lighter. No halberd. Wow, my luck is terrible, he says, as he kills an infinitely easier Black Knight halberd drop with the Black Knight halberd. These drakes, actually, are probably going to get downgraded, huh? A boss. I'm kind of wondering how bosses like Ornstein and Smao work. Like, are they going to be too... Like, if, if they replace anything, is it going to be, like, just Ornstein and just Smao anywhere? <coughs> Sorry, that was the sound of muffled drakes.
They're like all calamite. Oh, I don't even see. Oh, it's a skeleton. I was gonna say, I don't even know who the fuck this is. I wonder if they can be replaced by like aggroed. Oh, it's a chan a channeler, chancellor, Palpatine. This is one of Seath's magicians. I swear I'm trying to roll. I, I just suck at it. It's just fast, this attack. Oh, and he delays it like a japester, too. He literally just like sat there and waited for me to roll. Brilliant. Um, starts you facing down, right? Yeah. Oh, I should have sent this thing back up. Unbelievable. So yeah, uh, Smash Stream should be at around uh, like 7.30 for perspective. Right now it's almost exactly 5. Uh, this, this stream actually will probably only be like an hour and a half. Uh, literally because I want to air out my room because it gets so goddamn hot during the day here, especially during like the afternoon. I'm kind of glad Lark is showing up a bit late this time so that uh, we don't have to worry about the heat so much. Am I female? Is Swamp Gus, oh right, Swamp Gus is female, yeah. I literally just need to like run Serpentine like back and forth. Oh! He used the power of SPIN! Okay. Spider shield. Spider shield. What's this? It's a basilisk. Oh god. And it's Shrek. And there's like, what, a frog? A slurm? Okay, it's a slurm. I'm just gonna get the TSR and get out of here. bit of lag there. Pretty high up. No idea if this actually is gonna work at all. Am I gonna live? Barely. Barely. Yes. That's how speedrunners do it. That's how they activate Tearstone Ring. It's almost like the game designers intended for that to happen. I honestly have no idea, though. Okay, now I have TSR. I'm unstoppable. Uh, just like to stipulate on that, very stoppable. In fact, I'm gonna take an Estus. <laughs> I'm gonna take two Estus. Holy fuck, my Estus suck ass. I need to go get a bunch of Firekeeper souls. I didn't get them in... my first game because it was just a speed run. I hear loud thumping in the house, which means one of my fucking mongoloid housemates is trying to slam the door shut rather than pulling it to the side, which is how you close it. It's a janky door. Also, it's a humanity ghost. <laughs> This massive poison dragon got replaced by a fucking humanity ghost. Just grabbing goodies. I still have the master key, right? Yeah. I don't know why I even asked that. I know the answer. So yeah, short stream of this today, but I will probably fuck around with it or other randomization mods in the future. I've just been hankering for more Dark Souls, even though I fucking live and breathe this franchise right now. Like, in terms of, like, watching other people's Let's Plays of it, uh, playing it myself, modding it, and editing my videos of it, I somehow still don't have enough Dark Souls in my life. Oh, it's a Vagrant! Yo! And a T-posing Black Knight, it looks like. 
<laughs> but uh, one of these is a vagrant. Just like I was saying. So this is an enemy you hardly ever get to see in this game. Oh, and that is another massive rat and another T-posing. Wow. Wow. So these are a really rare enemy. They appear when somebody else in another world uh, loses a bunch of uh, souls when they die. If they like perma lose them. I want to see an attack. We saw this once during Lark Souls when we were in the fucking last area of the game. Do an attack. I think there's different kinds of vagrants too. This is like the red kind, I guess. Okay, looks like it really only has one attack, and it's pretty pathetic. But it gave me a twin humanities. <laughs> I love all the T-poses. Holy shit. That alone makes this a masterpiece. Look at the straight tail! Oh, it's brilliant. I can't, like, get the, get the jape on this guy, I think. Oh, I just barely nicked it. Probably like playing with fire here. Oh, he's still He doesn't he doesn't try to attack me, I think. Look at this. He's aggroed, but he just doesn't know what to do. Cause he's got the AI of a little thwimp. The rat tail doesn't have a hitbox. Can I stab right up its damn asshole? What about this guy? Oh. Oh. Oh, rat! Oh, oh, oh! It scurries! That is a really fast movement for an animal as large as yourself. Why can't I backstab this guy? Who even is this? Is this one of the... Like, uh, the, the Black Iron Knights, or what? I guess it is. He's got the big shield. Bone stack. What do you have for me? What do you have in store? And he's gone. Humanity. Let's see what else is here. Another one of these fucks. I can't backstab them. He's just like yelling at this. It's just like, oh! Oof. Oh, just switching which ear my headphone is on. So what's gonna happen with the ghosts? Oh my god. Can, this, this has gotta be a thumbnail of something. I need to get good angles so I can get like a screen grab of this. Just a bone man, T-posing into the distance. <laughs> What's gonna happen to the ghosts, though? I'm curious. This will almost certainly spell my doom. I have no health and no Estus. Are enemies just gonna pop into place? Oh! They're just gonna be here. They're just gonna be here. That's cool. They're also T-posing, though. Some of them, at least. This guy is. You can tell- you can tell a rat is T-posing because they- Oh! What?! They're alive! Okay. Because their rat tail sticks out straight. And there's one of these things from the fucking, like, Chaos Ruins. Oh, I think something just fell off the ledge. Maybe Shrek, too, fell off the ledge. Okay, I'm out of here. I just wonder, like, what about things like the Four Kings, too? Four Kings have a really weird way that they're, like, rendered. Let's be having you. Transient Curse. You don't need that for this. I wonder if the ghosts can show up anywhere. So now I'm gonna go back up to Firelink. Oh, look at this! 
Two erect tails. Two stiff fellas. There's a basilisk, also stiff. Got 80 viewers, that's pretty good. Tell your friends about the Grapefruit stream. Get them to watch too. I'm gonna take off my headphones, cause holy fuck. I'm really hoping it'll be cooler later on when we're doing Soul, or when we're doing Smash, rather. No, 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 oh, that was so close. The, the emote step back almost sent me all the way back down. Uh, let me know if there's like weird audio echo. I can turn it down on my end. But if the audio just got like shittier, that's what that is. Okay, okay. I can't warp yet, because this is New Game Plus, right? But at least I, I have some, like, leeway into doing things. So this is perfect. I have so It's basically just, like, I have some starting gear. I can go around and figure shit out. I'm just gonna run past all this bullshit and get into the undead burg. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's that dude poking, poking through the wall. Just gonna run past all this bullshit. I wanna see, I wanna fight whatever replaces the Taurus demon. Okay. Painting Guardian Toxic, yes. Brilliant. Remember when this guy backstabbed me? Yeah, I bet you think you're fucking funny, Painting Guardian. Oh, I bet that guy thinks he's real funny. Fuck, oh, it was a necromancer. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, so I can't warp yet, so... I kind of want to uh, try to get to that point, but first I'm going to just fuck around for a bit. I'm going to try to clear Undead Burg, maybe do lower Undead Burg as well, get whatever's in the Capra Demon's room. That thing clipping through the stairs always scares me. Did I Toxic in a single dart that time? Because I'm wearing no armor, and I have no endurance. Because that would be really cool. Oh, there's a giant right there. Wow. I, I didn't even notice. There is a massive lad. I hate the little darts interrupt you, too. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, okay. Rest of bonfire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did I really lower the ladder? Oh, right. Because I was up at the top of the parish. Okay, I could have just come down. Fuck. Well, I would have had to cross the bridge. So that giant is there. Let's see what these guys are. See another DLC enemy. Two basilisks. The other guy died. Something died. Something big just died. I just got 9,000 souls. Oh! There's Manus again! Okay! He's alive this time. He's kicking. This is fine. I'm just gonna go up here for safety. You know, for safety reasons. Oh, it's another crystal golem. That's cool. Yeah, this- I'm not fucked right now. I'm not totally and utterly fucked beyond compare. I see what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Ah, 
I have a strat. And that strat is fucking run! Fucking run. What if I got cursed? That would be really funny, right? Really awesome. Awesome and cool. My curse bar is really low. What is that? What is that move? Oh, it's another Vagrant! <laughs> what the hell? I was like, I've never seen that move before. And then I was like, I get why I haven't seen that move before. Yeah, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was a strange move this man just pulled. Very strange. Penny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. Uh, I should have got the Firekeeper Soul while I was down there. In New Londo. Penny Lane. Fuck you, Bowser. Fuck you, Bowser. There are two giants here. Count them, two. The twins. Oh, and there's a... Just a tiny little worm. Why couldn't you guys have been worms? Are, are you hostile? Oh, they're hostile. They're crumping. I, I want one of them to, like, fall off. Please. You're so close. He's, like, on the ledge. I keep getting souls from other enemies falling off the ledge. Why can't you guys be like that? Right up his giant ass. I think- is he even able to attack me? I don't think these guys can attack me. It's just sad, like it always is with the giants. It's just depressing, I'm just hitting him in the dick over and over again and he just faces my direction to sit there and take it. So now I need to try breaking the boxes that this man is standing on and see what that just does for the world. What's down there? Oh, lower undead. Boig. So, like, what does this do? Now you're a real boy. You're a real boy now. You can attack me. You, you're a real boy. Come on! At least make it a challenge! What the fuck is the point of this mod if the chaos is too controlled? He tried to do one attack and then he just gave up. He was like, nah, it's not gonna work. Bye. <laughs> mm. Did he just fall off the edge? Okay. Eliminating one at a time, my ass. Oh, but look at this! The walking strats! He's got all the other guys pinned behind him with his pure walking energy. I keep getting hit by fucking fireballs from a fucking necromancer. Necromancers should stick to reviving the dead just like pyromancers should stick to fire, okay? Okay, now they're gonna be able to come up here. What the fuck are you? Oh, this is that unique enemy in the, in the DLC area. That's kind of cool. I totally forgot about this guy. Isn't there only one of him? Chain leggings. Cool. Now you fuck. You will meet your doom. Seventy viewers. That's pretty cool. I'm glad you guys could make it. How's it going, chat? We're, we're not getting a lot of chat conversations. So I feel like people are, are becoming passive. Which is fine. Oh, did you see that? There's some huge- Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, these giants are not made for this kind of space. This is exactly what I wanted. Oh shit. No, I just wanted to play Jiggery Pokery with this guy. I didn't want to get poisoned.
He almost got out of his, like, state there. I have a little bit of poison moss, actually. Oh, fuck. What? Did this guy just clip through the wall? I swear I didn't give him permission to come in here. Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> He's like trying to ascend, but he can't. Rest in peace. Maybe finally, you can have a bit of quiet and not be jittering. Alright. He was schmoovin'. I'll give him that. He was schmoovin'. But not schmoovin' enough. I had kind of the urge to just play through this game, like, normally. Like, just make, like, an actual character and play, like, an unmodded version and just play it through again. I just had the urge to do that, but I think I will save that for another time. And this will satiate my urge for now. Uh, I'm gonna use a humanity. I'm gonna use two humanities. Sound still good, guys? I'm gonna turn it down on my microphone, or on my speaker, just a little bit anyway. I'm also gonna go plug in my phone. I'll be right back. Because I wanna go to the store later. And I wanna have phone charge so I can uh, listen to music. Oh, I was gonna kindle this. Okay. So, now, trying to get where the Taurus demon is, but there's a small problem that the uh, Undying Emperor of Darkness is in the way. Like, his body blocks my path. So I'm gonna try to actually kill all these fucks. Oh, this is a pretty eclectic mix. Oh, that attack is OP! What the fuck? That attack is fucked up. Yes, yes, Chad, I know the layout of Undead Bird, don't worry. I do, uh, hate this fucking Vagrant right now, though. Fun fact. Oh, what? Did you see how fast that happened? And then the frame rate died. We got the full experience. That does not look like half HP. I'm gonna come out and say it. I don't think that's half HP. I am gonna try something besides just walking around Manus, though. Okay. Oh! Oh, fuck. God damn it. I thought there were railings leading to the bridge. There were not. There were not. Every other part of the building has railings, but no, not this fucking one bit. You know, this, just the single part where I relied on there being a railing. No, it's fine! I'm fine! I'm cursed! Oh, wait. What happened to the toxic guy? He's gone. I'm not opposed to that. I'm fine with that. He's just... He's perma-dead. 
Something to do with, like, I rested at the bonfire at the right time, I think. Look at their, like, synchronized death poses. They're like, ah! Okay, there's a tiny little grub. A bit of grubbage here. And then there's that fucking vagrant. That will instant kill me. Right now. If I don't just crack down and kill it. Oh, that guy clipped through the wall. That was pretty cool. You got a bit of grub on your foot there, sir. That was a bad mistake. Oh, what? You clipped through the wall too? What the fuck? Where did he come from? Did he just walk out here? Or was he from, like, way earlier? Or did he clip through the wall? Someone said toxic lads don't respawn. Well, they, they do here. I think the, oh god, the presence or lack of spawning is linked to the actual placement ID, not the enemy. Well, this sucks. Do I have a purging stone? I don't think I have a purging stone. I could go up and buy one. Nope. Let me try this again. What was it? It was like roll. Roll X A blah, blah blah. Oh hey, was that it? Oh I think that was it. Oh thank God. Roll X A A A. No. So I think I was doing it too fast earlier. Roll X A A A. That wasn't it. I just wasted the solo quee lag. <laughs> this is whatever. I have. I deliberately used a low value soul in case I fucked it up. Um. Oh, I don't even have enough souls to level up once. Unbelievable. Well, uh, hmm. I could go up to the... up to the bell gargoyles and, uh... Buy purging stones from Oswald. I think he has them, right? Either way, it'll give me an excuse to go do gargoyles. Oh, hey. What's this? Has the Drake been replaced by a giant rat? Oh! This is the wrong way, I'm aware, but. I wanna see if you can just go backwards from here. Oh, wait. What happens to the Taurus Demon, then? Wait. What happens to the Taurus Demon if you approach from this side? Or no, oh, I have, I beat the Taurus Demon in New Game Plus. Right, right, right. After my speedrun, I just played a little bit, and I beat the Taurus Demon. So, <laughs> I guess cross that off the list. Whee! Okay, and then there's like a million of these dudes. I'll talk to Solaire. Okay, brilliant. You're as effervescent as ever, Vescent, Solaire. I think I'm, I'm just about done with this current stream. Uh, just gonna, just gonna, oh, look at that. I'm just gonna snap my way through here. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna functional game through here, through this zone. Oh, that rat's blocking the entrance. I, I hate this. I hate this. I could- I can't get there. These fucking giant rats are a pain in my ass. Guess I'll go this way. What's what what buggery is down here? A leech. 
And a ball there, that's not too bad. Okay, oh, these all these fucking necromancers. I feel like that's the most common one. We've seen so many so far. Cat ass. Cat ass. How you doing, Manus? Doing good? Feeling good? Alright. Glad to hear it. So, wait, how do I even get to the... I remember how to get to the bells. Bell gargoyles. <laughs> oh no! The backstab again! Fuck off! I was too entranced with the two dudes falling. trying to think what's like the fastest way to get to where I'm going. This is not the fastest way, but this is like the most convenient way currently. I shouldn't have even gone up there. I'm just going to go through this little pit again. Oh yeah. Giant boar falling on top of your head just hurts a little. Just a tiny bit. Tiny little bit. This is the place with the giant rat that I needed to fucking jank past. <sighs> rat! RAT! You fucking mosquito, I swear to god. to get past this part and not get fucked over because I'm fucking cursed. Leech circumvented. Woo! That, ma that fucking rat knew how to jump just as well as I did. I don't even think I could do send skip here because there's no like actual real enemies here. It is hot and muggy in this room. I can't wait to end this stream, but I'm going to I'm going to check out the bell gargoyles and see if it spawns two bosses. Oh my god, guys, the run up to the gargoyles is going to be hell. It's going to be pure hell. There's so many of those little zombie dudes. Like if there's a giant rat in there, then I straight up can't. Or if there's like a boss, then I straight up can't do it. Let's see what this Tower Knight is. Oh, it's a... It's not a Tower Knight. I don't know why I always call them that. It's just a name that I've heard. Apparently it's a boss in Demon Souls. Fuck off. That's the only one that explicitly blocks your way. But if there's a massive one, then he will technically... Oh! Like this, per se, per se perchance. Like the 10,000 things that are here. Look at this. There's multiple layers of me being blocked off. And there's a fucking Vagrant that's going to be shooting at me. That's just wonderful. That is just wonderful. At least it's not a uh, Duke's Archives pig. It's just a normal armored pig. Pigma. Pigma balls! Pigma balls! Oh. What the hell? Okay, bit of grubbage. I just want to get up there so I can get uncursed. Please. Oh, there's a giant in there. I see him now. 
He's a slimy boy. Kinda just wanna whip out a firebomb and end this, but this works too. Okay. I I feel like what is that? Look at that crystal golem walking right up the dragon, or right up the giant's asshole. That is brilliant. Can the golem do anything? The giant is like blocking its way. And this rat is having just so much trouble. This is a, this is an R-O-U-S. Straight up. Road of unusual size. All the way. Okay, what's in here? Oh, toxic? It's one of these fucks! Oh, you're kidding me! The last guy was a toxic dude! Oh, that is unbelievable. I don't have any toxic removal moss. So I just have to be baller. I just have to be a fucking baller. What are the- what are the- give me the- show me the goblins. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's Pinwheel. It's Pinwheel, guys. We're saved. It's just- oh! <laughs> it's Pinwheel splayed out across the fourth dimension. Holy shit. Look at this. That's like a crow. That's one of the crow enemies. What's going on? Oh my god. It looks like one of those enemies from Pikmin. Oh my lord. Look at this abomination. I really hope it's like this for the fight. No, it's just a crow person. Oh, this crow person's gonna whoop my ass though. I still might get my dick knocked off. I'm like toxic right now. Come on. Okay, we got one. Oh, this is my last anything, though. Pinwheel! Pinwheel! I only have... I, I, oh, you're fucking kidding me. Grateful died to Pinwheel! <laughs> I didn't even know he had <laughs> an attack. <laughs> I thought he just sort of stood there. Okay, I'm gonna kindle this fire. Because this is fucking tricky. Uh... I have one black firebomb. Put it on the wheel, so I can kill that fucking thing. Oh, I need armor. Why have I not been wearing armor this whole time? Sure. Uh, sure. Uh... So I need to avoid getting toxic. That's really it. Oh wait, I was gonna put humanity here, right? I was like, what the fuck was I gonna put in this thing? I could've used humanity as a clutch heal there. So I need to... Avoid the toxic. Avoid the vagrant. Avoid the like 10 fucking billion things that are gonna be trying to kill me this, this time. Oh, I don't need to kindle. I'll kindle if I die again. Okay. Okay. Swap ring. I, I only have two rings. I don't know what to tell you. Is that- oh my god. That move looks crazy in, like, a tight space. I've never seen that before. It's always just, like, in the fields. Come on. Where's the next massive thing to block my way? Wait, did they- oh, I think one of those was the channeler, and the channeler perma despawns. So that's cool. That's really cool. The boar must have been replacing the channeler. So now I just... I, I don't want to get toxic. Oh, where's the toxic guy? 
He's over there now. That's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Why is he over there now? Just, just you know, beg the question. Why is he here? Why is he here, though? He was in a different corner the last time, so I just, I just wonder. Alright, come on. Come on. So today I learned, Pinwheel has a fucking projectile. I, I did not know this. Oh, I'm dead. Never mind, I'm not quite yet. But I'm gonna die from toxin right now. Yep. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, well, I just need to be, like, psychic and just know where that toxic guy is gonna randomly be now. I don't know why- those guys don't move. I- I, I think they literally don't have a walking animation. So I don't I don't know why he was in the, the opposite corner this time. This would be such a fucking easy fight if I just wasn't toxic for it. Someone in chat says, what's the difference between toxic and poison? I'm glad you've asked. Toxic fucking sucks ass three times as much. That's the only difference. It's literally just worse and harder to heal. Normal poison healing items don't work on toxic. Isn't that fun? It sounds like a fun mechanic, right? Like, being poisoned barely even matters. You go down by like one health every like two seconds or some shit. It's ridiculous. But toxic... You go down by, like, five health every, like, half a second. It's like, fuck. It's like, why didn't they just name that status effect, fuck you? Die in a hole, hellbag. Look at this fucking pile of slurm. Where did the giant go? Did the giant, like, pop out of existence? I'm, like, almost scared to walk over here. Oh, they totally can move. What the hell? Those guys never move in Blight Town. But they move here. What a scum piece of shit enemy. Fuck you. Eat an ass. I really hope I don't die to the bird now. Come on, bird. Bird steen and pin smell. That's terrible. Ah! 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 Gargoyle's halberd. Brilliant. All right, pinwheel. You utter buffoon. You think you can tussle with the muscle? Is he gonna like clone himself? What's he doing? You can't move. You're an imbecile. He's trying in vain to teleport, but he can't. This is like the longest I've ever looked at Pinwheel's 3D model. Oh, he moved! He moved! Oh! Final boss! Final boss! Alright, he's dead. He, he finally, like, got out of gay baby jail for a second at the end there. Mask almost tumbled off the side. 
Did we get the right of kindling by any chance? Okay. So I'm gonna go up here and ring the bell and come back down, and then I'm gonna finally be able to fucking uncurse myself. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna quit the stream and then we'll come back later. And Lark and I will be playing some hero. I took a look at the hero skins and established which one I wanted to play, and that was about it. So, so far this has been amazing. I've been loving all the jank that we've been having. Just incredible amounts of jank. And I can't wait to see a lot more. What about the Great Hollow? The Great Hollow must be just absolutely fucked right now. That's right, guys, I beat the hardest boss in the game. A combination of the fucking Bell Gargoyles and Pinwheel. Some of the most piss-easy bosses in the game. Just get a bunch of those, why don't we? Brilliant use of our souls. We also need to learn the Daddy's Home gesture. Gesture. Not jester. There you go. Uh, so now... Purge it up. Thank God. That's such a relief. I need to use some Firekeeper Souls on my, uh, on my Estus. It's gonna fall. Because I have the health to spare now. Okay, well that was a fun challenge, just getting up there, doing that. This is fun, I like this a lot. It's like, just wacky enough. And I can fuck around with the settings, too to make it extra zany. That rat gave a hop. Thought might as well pick up the Firekeeper Soul while I'm here. What the fuck? Don't trap me in a corner. Duh! That's not a lot of souls, so honestly, I don't even feel like going back for those. Okay, um... Anything else to do? What about the Moonlight Butterfly, though? What about the Moonlight Butterfly? I'm just so curious how so many, like, specialized bosses are gonna work. Yeah, the, the prompt for the Firekeeper Soul didn't show up. I might have got it, though. No, I didn't. Weird. It looked like the... Yeah, the prompt didn't come up, and the, uh... It looks like the little white item sprite disappeared, though, but maybe I was just too focused on getting murdered. Wow, he had a bunch of tricks up his fucking sleeve. See, I wish you could duplicate items in such a way that would let you get the effects of multiple Firekeeper souls, like, of giving them to a Firekeeper, you know? Like, I wish you could just, like, enhance your Estus Flask infinitely, so make it just an instant heal. Oh, fuck! There's a Channeler. Cool. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. It sucks that you can't duplicate items in such a way. Although, you know, maybe there is. I just briefly want to see. It's not that hard to run to the Moonlight Butterfly, but that being said, with randomized enemies, it makes it a lot harder. Yeah, just try throwing your knives. Just try me. Okay. 
I really tried to roll through that, and now I'm in pig. In pig. In pig. Oh, God. He faked me out again! I hate channelers. Sometimes. Oh, I couldn't get over the- yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That- that log on the ground, did you see that log there? It's actually a completely impassable, invincible wall that my character cannot overcome, apparently. Because he just walked in place on it. Very good. Very good. People said that getting DS fix would shit- or would- <laughs> would fix shit moments like that, but, uh... Evidently it did not. There was a moment in the Great Hollow during Lark Souls where we just couldn't get over a certain thing, and somebody eventually informed me that that is tied to my frame rate for whatever reason. I was like, that's brilliant. Thank you, Dark Souls. Is that another toxic dark guy? I don't even want to- I don't even want to look. <sighs> Fuck off. Are you really still shooting spells at me? You should be way out of viewing distance at this point. Are we good? Are we good? Wow, I... <laughs> Whew. Chat, you're just gonna have to calm down. I know I didn't instantly go to the bonfire. But, uh... You know, I believe that you guys can pull through in this trying time of me not going instantly to the bonfire when there's a bunch of fucking enemies out there in the way. I believe that you can pull through. This is the tree enemy! Holy shit! It's the fake tree. I never thought this would go into rotation, especially like right here. It makes me wonder if the place where this is supposed to be, like right over there, is, is like replaced by another enemy. Okay, well, let's find out. How is this gonna work? Oh god, it's a little statue dude. Are you the moonlight butterfly? I don't see... I don't see anything fly- You're not a butterfly! What are you? Hey guys, wanna see my disappearing health bot trick? Well that was it. What a fucking anticlimax. It was the little scummy goons from Lost Isolith. I'm gonna go check the tree. I know I said I was gonna stop. I swear I'm gonna stop, eventually. We gotta look at the janky item physics. This guy's stuff, when you break it, for whatever reason, it just, like, slides. Oh, also, I already have the Divine Ember, I guess? So it's just there. But we can watch this stuff cascade and fall all the way down. Look at it go. That's how stuff behaves, right? This isn't even part of the mod. This is just normal Dark Souls jank shittery. Okay, I want to check the tree, though. Let's keep it real here. This is a cool fight. I feel like people sleep on the Moonlight Butterfly. 
But it's like a cool atmospheric boss, if nothing else. And some people would argue it is nothing else. <laughs> the fact that you can, that there's a summon for it, is frankly insulting. Okay, a bone wheel. Let's see, where's the place where the tree is? Yep, the tree has been replaced by nothing, evidently. Maybe the enemy ran out of place. Okay, and that's a massive bone. I'm just gonna get out of here. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I'm getting I'm getting catacombs in the fucking dark root garden. That's not how it should work. Let's see what's in here. Just take a little peek. Oh my god. Look at the snake T pose. That's particularly amazing. Also, I'm running away. See, what is the leg doing here? There's a little bit of leg action. Guys, let's end the stream on some beautiful leg action from Swampy Gus. Who would have thought that we would see the return of Swamp Gus? But here he is, just breaking his ankle over and over. Anyway, guys. <laughs> That was fun. I'm definitely going to stream this again. I don't know if I'm going to play the, like, the entire game, but we'll definitely have some more dicking around with Dark Souls randomizer. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back later in... Dang, just about an hour and a half with some uh, Smash. So be there. Be square. Bye-bye! <laughs>